Good morning, guys. We are ready for some safari with this monster lens that I got a couple of vlogs ago, a week ago, two weeks ago. I don't know. It's a while ago. I'm still not going to show you where we're staying, just like a little bit. It's epic. That much is for sure. So we're headed out right now. Apparently, there's a little path that you can walk right outside here where there's some some wildlife that we're trying to find. That's basically what we're headed out to do now. So far, the morning's been very relaxed and I'm really excited to get going and hopefully see some animals and experience Africa. More animals than just what we saw last night, which, which was so many different kinds of bugs and big ones and I don't know. I don't scare easily with stuff like that, but there are some big ones out there. Morning. You can't hide. Can't hide. <laughs> She's eating. I haven't eaten a thing. I don't know why. I'm not really hungry. Ooh, I'm gonna have one of these actually. Protein bars. I got them at the supermarket a couple days ago. Yesterday? Two days ago. This house is amazing, but there's like no food around. It's not a it's not a hotel, it's like a private lodge. So we're pretty much by ourselves here. Um, so we need to be cooking ourselves. That's why mom made dinner last night. So come on, let's head out. So we set out to safari on our own in this uh, unfenced area right next to our house pretty much. And we're not idiots, we're told that it would be okay to walk here so there's no lions or anything hiding in the bushes. May have not been the best idea to go out in the middle of the day, but I, can't, I don't want to turn around yet because I feel like we could find something. I want to find something. Okay, abort mission. It's a little bit too hot. And with shorts, not the best idea. I was thinking all about the photo. <laughs> so we're headed back to the room. Maybe we go to the supermarket now because it's the middle of the day. Try and stay in air conditioned surrounding and then venture back out in a couple hours. Also, my mom needs to wear something a little bit more appropriate for the Tehran that we're walking on here. Guys, guys, we're headed to the supermarket, but we just found some zebras. I just wanted to say hi to them. This is not our house. This is a number, I don't know. But there's a little baby there. Hi. Hi guys. I know you don't want to go. Did you just fart? Not cool, bro. Not cool. Oh, you're pooping. All right, cool. All right, we're gonna leave you guys alone now. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, you're busy right there. Yeah, look at that. Okay, cool. All right, bye guys. Good talk. Okay, after a quick zebra detour, uh, on the way to the supermarket, we stopped and we're gonna shop for a little blanket. Colorful, super nice. And that was really quick. These are hand painted, um, hand painted decorations. They kind of hang. Super nice. And honestly, there's like nine dollars for each of them. But I feel like we probably paid too much because I don't know. I'm not that good at haggling, <laughs> but it's still completely fair. Lunch break. That's really good. And let's arrive, check it out. Because there's some biltong on there, and some tomatoes, and I don't know what else, macadamia nuts. And then this is camembert, and mom's having sushi, South African sushi, which I'm wondering if that's as good as anywhere else. If you ever thought that South African supermarkets would be vastly different than American or European supermarkets, which is what, what I had believed, I have to tell you, all of us are wrong, because it looks like any other supermarket, really, I don't know. Okay, supermarket check, lunch check. Now we're back at the house and let me walk you through this so you can actually see where we're staying right now. This place is called Lodge 23 at Elephant Point here in South Africa, right by um, Sabi, Sabi Sands. That's the area we're in, it's Kukuza. <laughs> so it's outside of the Kruger Park, but it's very, very close to it. It's right on the border. So here, if you walk in, that's like the general living area. Here we have a kitchen. Right there, this is the living area. Then there's kind of like a tranquility garden. Some plants and this beautiful little fountain, wood door, and a little bit more of a comfy chair back there. And over there's a dining table and let me walk you upstairs really quick, which is... And that's what happens when you fall up the stairs. Nothing happened, all good, phone is okay, but scary. Back to where we were. Walking up the stairs, this time without falling, Nice little details right here. And then up here we have like a lounge and a bar area. So here's like a bar, which is super cool. And then this lounge. And then you got this countertop with a view. Back there is the Kruger, Kruger National Park. 
This is the Sabi River that you can see right here. Uh, when I booked it, I read through the comments, some people had seen animals here, like elephants and, and rhinos. And then downstairs, I'm gonna take you down there right now. Downstairs we are, here's another outside lounge area where you can kind of hang out, which is beautiful. And then probably the sickest part about this is this gorgeous pool with a view of, well, all of this nature. You can hear the river flowing in the background, which is wonderful. My mom is staying right over there. Then there's technically another room right in here that we're not using. There she's sitting on the bed. Hi, mom. <laughs> and then here's a, so this is where the lounge was. And then this is the, another entrance to the main living area. That's another li little living area. <laughs> then we have this cool little hangout spot up here. I don't really know what it does. You can just kind of hang out here. And then this is the view here and then you can kind of look out over there. This is where you come in, like you drive in through there. That's not true. That's not true at all, but you can walk there if you want to. And back downstairs, let me show you my room. A little hippo right here, <laughs> a little truck right there. The decor here is absolutely beautiful. So this is my, there's one more room here. And then this is my room. It's looking a little bit messy, I apologize. So here's the bed, a little closet right there. The view outside of the bed is pretty nice. Just like into the nature as well. Gorgeous. And we have a little shelving unit right here. And that's pretty much what all the rooms look like. They're a little bit different, but not really. So here's the sink and then the shower is actually gorgeous. This is the shower right here, very simple, but then you have a tub on the outside. So if I open this up, you're gonna be outside and have a little soak. If you, if you so please. And that's the tour, pretty cool, no? So it, it was one of the only things that was like really beautiful that was still available. That's why I booked it, even though it's for like eight people or more, but whatever. It's cool, we're here for two nights, one more night, and then we're headed to the next hotel. Um, as you know, I like jumping around. We're heading out now and we're gonna go find some more animals because that's what people do in South Africa when they're in safari. But first, let me take a selfie. The sun is setting beautifully right now. Took some photos by the pool. We took some photos inside the beautiful house that we have here with a couple of the safari dogs that I have. I, I, I've been so focused on getting a, the right shot with some animals around that, but that I've, that I've kind of neglected the, uh, the beauty that we have here. And so I'm happy that we got to take some photos. Sollen wir, sollen wir noch zur Giraffe vor? Oder bist du fertig? Sollen wir noch zur Giraffe runterschauen? Ich kann auch alleine. I'm asking her whether we should go see the giraffe still, because there's supposed to be a giraffe around here. I was not telling you guys because I was trying to keep it a secret, but now I'm telling you because you're hearing it. All right, so off to the giraffe, giraffe hunt. Hunt to shoot, but obviously only to shoot photos. <laughs> I don't care. Yet another unsuccessful attempt to find some wildlife. Um, we were told that there's a giraffe that was, that gave birth to a baby yesterday. So we were trying to find them, but because the giraffe just gave birth to the baby yesterday, it's trying to hide it because it's really fragile and weak and she's been a good mama. Um, making it hard for us to get some photos with the two cameras that I'm walking around like a pro with, uh, to get some photos with those. It's not really happening. So we're giving up because the sun is setting and honestly there's so many spiders and everything around here. So it's probably better if we just call it a night, maybe give it another shot in the morning. Maybe with somebody that can show us where the heck these giraffes are hiding. We um, went back home. I did some work, I'm still gonna do some work, but I also tried to take some photos of stars. Because the Milky Way is absolutely insane tonight, and like, I don't know, I didn't really get it. I don't have the right lens with me to get all that much, but it looked super cool. And now we're playing a round of Scrabble. Oh, it's so dark, I can't even really see. I'm sorry, guys. These are my, my letters. These are my letters. So I'm hoping I'll kick my mom's butt in Scrabble. She's pretty good. Plus, I don't really speak German so much no more, so I suck very badly in German. We'll see how that goes. But thank you guys so much for watching um, today. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked the house. We're leaving it tomorrow. I'm very sad, but it's been an awesome day, even though we only saw, saw zebras. It's, it's fine. <laughs> um, once again, thank you guys very much, and I'll see you with the next vlog tomorrow. Bye.